Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Breaking Bread. So what are we going to talk about today? I want to talk about really fast. Talk is cheap. Talk is so cheap. And how does that apply to the workplace? Let's get into it. So when you are saying, hey, I'm going to promote you or, hey, I really appreciate all your work or, hey, you're doing a great job or, hey, you're, you're outpacing your peers or, hey, you crushed this project. Cool. Everyone likes an attaboy. Everybody likes a appreciate it, boss. Feeling good. But if you don't do the promotion, you don't actually show them leniency in certain places where they may need it. You don't, they don't see you talk them up to, you know, maybe the VP or CEO or someone above you, or you don't see your position changing, or you don't see yourself in different, you know, subjects and styles and whatnot, or handling certain projects that have high visibility. And everything you just told me doesn't mean Jack Diddley. And this is really important because it's so easy to tell someone something like, hey, I'm really proud of you, or great job. But you tell someone that enough and you tell them they're star spangled awesome, but you don't ever give them the physical actions that relate to those words. So all you're doing is creating distrust and like extreme, extreme distaste in that person's mouth. Hear me out. If I use the same example that we just talked about, and I'm like, hey, this is what you're going to get, bomb, 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 bomb. But I'm actually not doing anything to back up my words, then I'm lying to you. Now, even if I do, like, hear me out, guys. Even if I do, on the inside, feel that, honestly, but the perception that I'm giving off to you is that, well, I'm saying all these nice things, but... I'm not going to give you those nice things. I'm not going to put you in these positions because I'm just glad you made me look good. And that's really the idea from the other prism. Like if you're a boss and as the, and the employee, this is what you're creating from their side of the house. And then from your side, it's like, crap, no, I'm losing credibility with everyone around me. More importantly, the people that you work for. Because remember, employees don't work for you. You work for them because in your management position, all you're doing is managing. Okay, fair. I'll, I'll meet you halfway. You are also, if you're a good manager, doing some of these and blocking them from all the nonsense that happens that above them and putting them in positions to win because that's all really good leadership is, is to put your people with their attributes in the best position so where they may succeed. I'll say it again. One of the best pieces of leadership is to put your people with their skills and attributes into the best positions where they're going to win. Super simple. So remember, when you're communicating with someone as a manager to an employee, and also employees out there, if you're not in the manager position, this applies to you too, because you communicate with your peers, you communicate with people that may be in other positions that aren't in the same like you know, level as yours, and then you actually have a conversation with them. And then you're saying, oh yeah, great, great, great. But when it comes time for you to like maybe come forward on a promise you made, or maybe just show them like, hey, when I said I really care about you, I really meant that. And here's some donuts or whatever. Because I've been there. I've, I've talked to people not in the management position and I'm like, bah, 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 bah. And then when it came time to like show up for them, I didn't do it. I am guilty. And that's where I learned this. I was like, crap, man. Talk is cheap. Talk really is cheap. If I'm not going to be there for them when they really need me or set them up for success, then what's the use of saying anything at all? Because no one wants the attaboys. We're adults here. We like them, but at the end of the day, show me the money. Either literally or figuratively. Preferably both. <laughs> so remember, everyone, if you're going to say something, be prepared to back it up. Why do I say that? Because maybe... If you're very conscious of it, it's the forefront of your mind, you might be careful what you say. Or when you do say something, you have those actions right in the chamber, ready to give it to the person. Not only, hey, congratulations, you did a really great job. By the way, we're going to put you in this position right now. You're still in the same place because we can't promote you right now, but we're going to put you in this position on this next project to be a lead on it because of the attributes that you showed in the last project. That simple. So. Think about it. Good for thought. Cheers.